uh, an amazing event where uh, we of course have the exhibition with uh, various stalls of uh, various vendors and suppliers for the Agarbati industry. And apart from that, it's an event where people can come to learn, to train, and to hone their skills to be part of the uh, booming Indian economy. Most of the manufacturers are uh, small business owners, and uh, we want to make this a unique opportunity for them to uh, experience and learn from the best of the best uh, in the industry. We have sessions on marketing, a separate session on raw materials, another session uh, on uh, perfumery, and another session on packaging. Each of the events will uh, showcase the leaders within that particular segment. For example, in the marketing session, we have uh, uh, Mr. Ullas Kamat, uh, who is going to speak to us. We have uh, Professor Dalia Mani from IIM Bangalore, who is going to speak to us uh, about succession planning. And then uh, we also have uh, the largest uh, manufacturer of fragrances uh, uh, in India, uh, Keva, and they are going to uh, speak about perfumery. And uh, we have the largest uh, manufacturers, the largest offset printers and largest corrugator in the country to speak to us about the latest developments in packaging. And uh, we also have uh, professors from IIM to speak about scaling up of traditional businesses. So this is not just an exhibition where people come to buy or sell. This is going to be a, an experience for industry leaders and all delegates uh, to learn about the latest developments that are happening in the country and how we can be uh, uh, very much a part of the uh, growing Indian economy. Thank you. Large-scale plantations that are happening across the board. We have Dr. Bharati, who is a specialist in bamboo and bamboo cultivation, who has a very well-planned uh, session to educate all of us on how we can actually localize bamboo to a greater extent, which is part of the session. The second and far more key ingredient for agarbati making is a material called jigat powder, which is the joss powder. Uh, so we have Dr. Ramkrishna Hegde from the Panampet Agri University who has a, a PPP model that he's created and uh, in the Western Guards we've already done massive plantation of the jigat uh, for the agarbati industry. So he's going to be giving a clear case study and an approach paper during the expo as well that will clearly articulate how we are going to localize uh, the jigat also to a great extent. So that's another marquee. Uh, event that we organized for the first time ever uh, in, in this expo. I now like to request Mr. Sharad Babu to very quickly brief us about the exhibitors uh, from various uh, segments who are uh, participating. Thank you, President. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we've got a very big expo that has been happening in uh, Tripurvasini. The entire exhibition area is spread around 1,20,000 square feet. Uh, We've got uh, around 170 exhibit, different exhibitors that covers the entire uh, supply chain for the Agarbati manufacturing uh, needs. We've got uh, people from the Agarbati, raw Agarbati manufacturing uh, raw materials, packaging raw materials, perfumes, fragrance ingredients. We've got people for uh, software, we've got people for fire services, insurance, banking. Everybody who's related to the Agarbati industry has a stall there and uh, they exhibit their wares there. It is for three days, 24th, 25th and 26th at Tripura Vasini. We've also got a very good uh, speaking session for uh, people and we've also created a wall which is called as a evolution wall for Agarbati which showcases the history of Agarbati over the past century, how it developed and how the industry developed. We've got a uh, very good uh, uh, display of old artifacts, old medals, uh, and all those things to be kept and for people to study and, uh, and learn more about the Agarbati. We also have parallel cultural events that are happening to entertain the people. And uh, I request... Launching uh, with the Indian Postal Department uh, a collector's, uh, collector's edition postcard that... Uh, picture postcard that actually documents the 12 different types of Agarbatis that are currently being made. Uh, it's beautifully art uh, created and the Indian Postal Department has agreed to create these 12 postcards for us and it's going to be a collector's edition that's going to be launched during the expo as well. So we want to not just showcase uh, uh, you know, the Agarbati industry and the modernity in it, but we also want to talk about the traditional part of the industry. So we are focusing on uh, rural art forms. We have a lot of those programs also happening uh, during the day as well. So we are expecting exhibitors 
uh, across, from across the country and participants not just from India but uh, overseas as well because uh, it is the first time an expo like this has been uh, organized. The uh, valedictory function, the inaugural like I mentioned is uh, going to be inaugurated by our Honorable Chief Minister and by our Industries Minister and the valedictory function uh, our Madam Shobha Kandaja has agreed to be uh, as uh, from the central government she is representing and we have the Maharaja of Mysore who are connoisseurs of Agarbati is uh, traditionally who is also going to be a chief guest along with our MP from Bangalore, Mr. P. C. Mohan for the valedictory function as well. Uh, 